Hello, YouTubers. Once again, Mercy Watt here. Let you guys know that I need to uh, assemble this PC right now. Gonna prepare the motherboard so that I can test it for posting. In case something happens, you know, you gotta do it so that you're within the time frame to return one of the items in case it doesn't work so hopefully this is going to be educational for all of you to always assemble your components as soon as you can so that uh, you can test them out if you don't get a post something's happening you know you have a problem so you can start getting components out and start deciphering from there whether it's a hard drive or maybe it's a, one of the RAM module modules Whatever it is, we need to post it. So I'm gonna assemble it right now. Uh, I'm gonna put this guy and put the hard drives, the CPU. Pretty much, I'm gonna use the thermal uh, paste from this guy because I never had any issues really. A lot of people may wanna use Arctic Silver, and I said, you know, that this is well, this is what I used last time to put the other one and I never had any thermal issues so I say whoever makes the thermal paste for these guys you know he's doing his thing I'm sure there's other better ones out there but it's up to you you guys what whatever you want to do so this is just gonna be an assembly of all the components that way you guys can see how simple it is I mean Anybody can put things together, really. So, bear with me. And here I go. Wish me luck, people. I couldn't find my strap for my grounding, so I've been touching. One of these wires. I already did that several times. I kind of discharge my myself. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. Depends. If it's for me, I really don't care. But I should care. Either either way. So don't make fun of my legs if you see them. I'm sick still. So here it is, the big boss. Gonna open this guy up now. Okay. So step ahead right there, you right know. Gonna open it up now. I think this one has a cooler. Is this a cooler? Oh wow. Can we even really put like a, a a prison kind of cooler in RGB built in? I don't know. But still I'm not gonna be using it. I'm gonna be using this bad boy. Okay, so I got the light on on the phone so that you gotta be careful with his pins, man. Can you use the glove because it has to be very delicate. Hold on. Okay. 
This, this is the air I'm looking for to match. Sorry about the news. I'm sick. Bear with me. I don't like to make mistakes so you guys can, can learn from me. There you go. There you go. There you go. Learn from my mistakes. CPU is installed now. Just like that. Don't forget to lift that lever. And... All right. There you go. So let's continue to the thermal paste. But of course, for that, I'm gonna. I did toy before. Disassemble those things. Remember, don't be shy in telling me what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. I'm, you know, this is my bill. If I ruin it, it's mine. But trust me, i done several like this for me. I always get a post, maybe I've been lucky, I don't know. Maybe the gods like me more, I don't know. It's been known to happen, it's been known to happen. The reason I, uh, the, the reason I uh, use gloves <laughs> I'm banging things in there. I'm like, oh, it's not gonna post. You bang one of those chips. Trust me, guys. These guys are not as delicate as people make them out to be. I have done un ungodly things to these things, and a lot of people just, I mean, you gotta be careful. But don't treat them like if they were like a brain or whatever. If I don't narrate things, uh, just follow what I'm doing, but be more careful if you're not comfortable with it, you know, that's my advice. I'm just going to go underneath like that. Or some people are gonna tell me, oh, yeah, you should turn the letters. I'll do that. How's that for you guys? Screws will go on top of this plate. That's all it's gonna be, really. In reality, I'm not even gonna need it right now. I'll look into the orientation of this guy. I would like to take the wire out to see where the orientation is going to be. Better position on this. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be like. 
like that. So it's going to be like that. So the orientation is going to be about like that. That will be perfect for this little guy. It's going to look awesome. Look at that. Already it's looking beautiful. Goodness gracious. Since all the uh, connectors are there, I'm just... Although, let me see if I can do this. And the wire will go all the way to... Yeah. I can probably shove this guy here. So as not to have too much slash. What do you guys think? I think that's good. Yeah. You know? I think that's I think that's perfect right there. I said this video is being videotaped on the very top, but I don't have a good mic. Uh, I may have, I may, the audio is going to be horrible. I understand that. But please bear with me. Also with me. And um, AMDs, I like to use the X pattern on it. Trust me, this is going to fill out real nice. All that is all you need really. Some people like to use, uh, you know, the, 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 the P type of dropling, whatever you want to call it. It's fine with that, no problem. Trust me, my people, by the time you realize this is going to cool itself real nice. A lot of people, you know, they go overboard with how they're so careful. And let's see. Because I cannot see and I don't want to show my face. That's why I like doing this without recording it because you know, once you start recording you get into a lot of troubles.
Cause you don't, you're not seeing what you're doing. Once you get one started, the other ones will follow. Not as easy as people think when you're recording it. It's easier when you're not recording it. Because you can concentrate better on what you're doing. And you got both hands to do miracles. start tying them believe it or not you tie them tie them to to a point where they can't go no more kind of like a tire okay this thing has a plastic just like this one just can't see it because it's lighter. So you can't time that guy no more. That one you can't do it either. And that one you can't either. So that's it. And that's necessary tension without damaging the board or anything like that. 
Let me check to see where the CPU is. Let me get my glasses. Once again, I, I touched the wire again in case I picked up any electrostatic ordeals. Wow. So this guy, the very first one. That's why I did that. That's why I oriented it that way with the wire. That way I could have done it over here and got more slack. But this is like a very, <clears throat> very limited space. You know, I don't have the probably trying it with this guy right here. You know, make it cable management real nice. So the CPU is installed, and so is the cooler. Just that easy. So. Trust me, that thing is going to be cool, one way or another. <clears throat> I put everything back in the box. This is for the CPU, by the way. I'm doing this because I'm gonna see if this thing can post real good. If it posts, then I'm all right. I'll be all right. The stickers are, are optional if you guys wanna use the stickers or not. You know, it's up to you. If you guys wanna put it in your case and display the company's logo whatever you know it's up to you it's really up to the person CPU cooler install all right let's go back to uh, what they were saying about this I'll use this smaller side right here see if that fits good in this screen yeah I think people just not care for us what's going on Lock tie. They're either not careful, something's going on with them. I mean, it's not like you're gonna hang a cow from these screws, you know. You don't have to like management, and so the short one goes here, the long one goes here. It's not like you gotta tie them in a the place to be where a cow's gonna. Hang from it. Just gotta wiggle it out very gently. See, connect and all came out. This is where the um, I told you guys I had another one of these guys that I installed on my other build. See, I'm not lying. Here it is. And the one I'm going to be using here is going to be this one. You can tell the letters are different, you know, this one is redder and this one is not. 
so you can tell the difference. If you see my head, don't make fun of it. I can't believe I'm doing this for you guys while I'm still sick. I should have recorded this when I'm well. Honestly, my friends here, I'm gonna tell you something. A lot of people will take this sticker off so this guy can be more efficient. I don't, I don't care. Honestly, I don't. I never had any issues. Uh, the reason why is because I'm telling you straight out. These guys are so well built if you take good care of them. That. You know, I don't know. I mean. This is the controller chip, these are the, the controller chip and all the storage modules right there. You gotta key them correctly so they only go one way, so there you go, see that's all it. That's all right there. Don't time it to a point that you're gonna be hanging a pig from there. Cause you're not, you're not gonna be hanging a pig, trust me. There's no slaughtering that needs to be on a computer. The, you guys don't need to time them so much. Now let's go here. And look at the pins. This is where the problem I believe lies. Trust me, my friends. <clears throat> you can be careful or you can be too careful and and not be effective in what you're trying to do. So kind of loosen it up again. I'm saying just work, work with the equipment. Don't don't, don't try to fight it. That's what I'm, I'm getting at. I mean, uh, I think I think most people just get frustrated. Because these things are really tiny. I understand that. They're tiny. But don't don't fight the equipment. This is a little tiny screw, man. See, right now I want to throw this out the window right now. Why? Because it's, it's fighting me. Don't fight the equipment. See, look at that. That one's already there. Did I strip it? I don't think so. What about this one? Oh, dear me. Look at that, guys. Did, I, did anything strip? Of course, no. Nothing stripped. I'm going to tell you why. I didn't fight the equipment. You don't need to fight the equipment. All right, so that's going to be my C-Drive. Now, let's do this guy here. And the only way I can do that one is by digging into the Madre board. Yep, 
you have a, a driver's CD included here. I don't know if they're starting to put USBs now for it. So let's see. But shouldn't you have like an optical drive <laughs> for this? Thing? It's like, come on, people, come on. Got the IO shield right here. Be right back. Mm. Gotta get my old trusted scissors. And I'm telling you guys, this is a motherboard. It's not a, it's not a butchering ordeal here where you're gonna have to use force. There's no force necessary here, guys. This is pretty much finger, finger techniques. See what, 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 I'm gonna get like a special tool for this. It's a hard drive. It's a hard drive. You get the tool and you start going in there, boom, and you damage one of those little guys in there. Really? For what? For what purpose? For no purpose at all other than being too rough with the equipment. Okay, my people. We've gotten the hard drive already on the C drive position. If you guys see some of my, you know, my skin, my eye candy for the masses, please don't make fun of it. Admire it. All right. Oh, uh, let me touch the wire. <clears throat> the wire right here. And I already t tested it. Make sure it's, it's the ground. And it is. I tried to look for my strap and I... If I were to do this for a client, I would have waited until either I get a new strap or here it is, WD Black Series, got a key right there, right there, see, look, don't fight the equipment, just look at this. Oh, oh no, it's not fitting in. Come on, man. It's just this little tiny thing, man. Don't be fighting it. Don't be acting like it's a, it's a goat. Look at that. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. Hey, I'm not gonna gang. I'm not gonna like. No, that's all it needs. Right there. There you go. There you go. That's it. That's it. Any more than that? A lot of people put a heat sink in here. First of all, too fat. Uh, others. The thing about it is the controller chip is the one that gets hot. Then the controller chip radiates all that heat from it onto the memory modules. Making the hard drive, in my opinion, less, you know, performance, you know, it performs bad. So why would I go that route when in here I'm already running the risk that this is going to be doing that, you know, it's like, come on. Come on, man. Okay, my people, now I'm going to go with the RAM. It's so simple. A kid can do it.
Got more stickers in there, you know. You wanna get all happy about it. Look at my nails, man. They're all broken up. I'm falling apart, really. That's what's happening. I'm falling apart. Oh man, I should have I should have done this for you guys like this on the opposite. There you go. Sorry my people, I just wanna Don't touch the pins, please. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. I see a lot of people touching the pins for some reason. They say nothing will happen to it. It's like Yeah, but why run the risk, right? Why run the risk to have one of these things not post all because you did that? You gotta find the orientation. Okay, find the orientation. And that's not it, so it goes this way. Like I knew it, that's why it caught me last time. There you go. Just be careful. Don't fight it. You know this one's not gonna fit, guys. You know, I hate the fact that these guys, they don't open up like they used to, so you have to force them this way. Like, come on. Just press down gently. Please don't touch the pins, please. Make sure they snap. Nothing is worse than something that won't post due to the simple fact that our RAM, RAM module, it, it didn't, you know, engage correctly. Then you start thinking to yourself, why? What did I do? And am I such a, a terrible assembler, whatever you want to call yourself? Well, no, it's because maybe some people, you know, they forget to press these things correctly where they where they deserve it to, to be, you know, where they, where they should be. Right there. It's nice. You inspect the board real good. Everything is in there. Everything fits nice. Drive on the back. It's looking nice. The plate. Looking nice. The RGB strip's gonna be that right there. One. Uh, this guy. Anyway, this is all I wanted to do for today. Put this guy together for you guys. It's just like that. Tell you guys that it's not that difficult. Yes, it was difficult a little bit to put the cooler in there because I didn't want to show my beautiful head. You know, over it, it just doesn't look right and she just align the holes and put it in there yes the cooler's gonna move here and there but as long as it's seated you don't lift it and then put it back instead of creating pockets of air you know you can slide it a little here and there 
that's what they're designed for. You know, the thermal paste really is all it's gonna do is spread around the CPU and stay there and filling out the the can the gaps, the microscopic gap that you can't see with a naked eye. So yeah. Anyways, this is part one of this uh assembly of this PC. Um Notice I already been I already prepared the board with the RAM, the cooler, the CPU, and the two M.2s. Uh, one is the Pro Series, which they're really resilient, and then the other one, which is a little bit also resilient, but not as much as this guy. These guys are really resilient. And trust me, I already installed one of these guys and I did all sorts of things to do it. And it's still there, and it's mine. And by the way, that one is not in the gaming rig like I thought it was. It's on my uh, home theater solid uh, nook ambient cool. So I apologize for the misinformation on that. Anyways. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, uh, be positive on the comments. If you're negative, that means uh, something's going on in your life that you, maybe you need to fix. Uh, don't let the negativity spread. It's not good for, for, for you. It's not good for the world. It's not good for your family. You know, just enjoy life to its fullest. That's all it took, this little screwdriver here, this guy right here, a trusty, and my knife. Here's the shark tail or whatever you want to call that, the fin for the internet. I, I usually like to use this nubby, so I'll show you. If I can find it. Oh dear me. Huh. Wow. Just hold on. Bear with me. I'm still here. I stole this from the other computer, but these are the ones that I like to use a lot more than that. And also these guys. So you guys pick what makes it more streamlined, okay? So, stay safe, take care of each other, love each other, love each other, and my baby girl actually is saying hi to all of you, and she can't speak because we wanna keep this video professional, but she, and she's a minor, you know how it is. Um, but she wants to say hi to you guys, but um, she just wanted me to tell you guys hi hello. Okay, so send her a big, big hello in, in the comments. You know, tell her that you guys are always thinking positive things about her and yourselves and everybody else. And in the future, I'm going to use that module that I showed you guys last time and put it right here so I can put another 2 terabytes. So this thing might have 22 terabytes. A lot of people may ask, why so much? Why so many terabytes there, Mercy? What's going on there? Because, people, home theater PCs are meant to be self-sustained. No internet, no problem. Internet, even better. More power to them. Okay? So, yeah, there you go. 
I recommend using these guys all the time for your C drive or if you um, are those kind of students or professionals that like to move a lot of data back and forth and all that and maybe you can rate these guys I don't know rate them so they can combine and become one so now you there's four terabytes instead and then you can split the data whatever but you can clone so back them up use them because these guys are more stable the, the data will stay there longer and also because of the simple fact that they're pro fetches utilize the way i see it memory a little bit different than something like this on the back I don't know you can you can read on it you know you can read about it on it and uh, you know it tells you why that is but these guys are just designed a little bit better to protect your data a little bit more warranty on it as well I think just but you know the WD also has five years of warranty so I don't know. go figure huh? But I guess it depends how you use it. But moving the files and you know, anti, and, and you like a lot of erasure and then loading and all that stuff is where these guys come to play. They have a higher way of saying, you know, I can take your data and then take it all, you know, you erase it whenever you want a lot more than the WD Black. All right. That's all, that's all he's saying. So if you guys are CAD students, you guys are uh, people who move large amount of data, you know, you guys do a lot of editing, a lot of rendering, whatever you, uh, you guys do, you know, this is the, the drive to do in, in because they, they, they do a lot better job for, in protecting your data a lot better. That's all I'm saying. If you guys don't want to do it, you know, go with something else to you like him but this is the little bundle of joy that is gonna perform on my next in win 2.0 yes I'm not saying the other goofy word because I don't know how to say it and I'm not gonna have anybody mess with it I'm just gonna call it my in win highly sophisticated home theater PC system built how do you like them apples huh that's right it's out Mercy what out and your life to the fullest. Unite one people. You guys take care, okay? Till next time. This is part one of, of, of this build. Remember, stay tuned for part two. You guys take care. All right. My baby girl says bye. You guys take care now. Bye-bye.